Dun, 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 dun. Hi everybody. So, how you doing? Hey. Cheryl. Hobby. Hobby. Hobby Cheryl. Cheryl Hobby. Team Hobby. Team Cheryl. <laughs> this is all very important for the video. Anyway, hi. Hi Cheryl. Hi. Do you have a question? I do have a question. <laughs> yeah, go for it. So this is my experience with dating men. I kind of um, go 10 steps forward. So if I meet this guy I'm really excited about, I think about 10 steps ahead. So I okay. want to I want to know everything about them, if they're compatible, and I'm already thinking about, you know, could be two, three months down the track, and I forget to enjoy the process mm -hmm. and let things reveal itself. So I'm already thinking about the whole scenario of of how our dating life should be. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you as a guy, we're often just thinking like, oh, she's hot. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm she's sure I'd be more in depth than that. No. No. Okay. No. She's cute. Like <laughs> sometimes it's kind of like that. Like some guys might think a bit further where they're saying, oh, she's uh, she's nice. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean this in like a joking way. <laughs> But that's more often than not, like the level of depth that we're both thinking is actually very different. Oh, wow. So you're... No, women, is diff women are definitely different. Yeah, so after, that's very different. after a yeah. day, we'll have a debrief session with our girlfriends. Yeah. We'll analyze every situation, what he says, mm -hmm. what he did, yeah. what he didn't do. Yeah. And a guy is often thinking, oh, yeah, was she cute? Yeah, she's cute. Oh, would you see her again? It's like, maybe. She asked too many questions. I don't know. <laughs> like... <laughs> and that and that does that does come across sometimes. Like when if I'm when on a we date interrogate with someone, them. yeah, the interrogation part. Yeah, and that's always the interesting part because it, what are your values? Yeah, exactly. What makes you? you want to find get out, out of bed every morning. And guys, guys are like, oh yeah. <laughs> so how do we handle this? So how yeah. do we kind of let it flow without an interrogation? Yeah. Well. Mm. Yeah. Well. How do we live in the moment? Like what I want to tell you is actually a way of finding out all of these information stuff from him. Mm -hmm. That is not a way of interrogating him. Ah, okay. So let it be like natural. A, yeah, like a structure to allow yourself to be natural. So, what are some questions that you would ask a guy? Um, well, I don't like really boring questions, but everyone's always like, "So, what do you do for a living?" Yeah, that's really boring. Yeah. Genuinely, like unless the guy has never been on a date before. Uh, and if he hasn't, then maybe, you know, it's probably not exciting. But, um, yeah. but if you ask him that, he's probably like, oh my God, this is so boring. Why did she ask me that again? What if or, he asks me that? Well, then he's probably also boring. Okay. So but, how um, do we so not how do ask you do boring that? questions? You would turn it into an assumption statement. Assumption? So what is an assumption statement? But isn't assumptions bad? Yes and no. Okay. An assumption is bad. If you just assume something about someone and act in accordance, hmm. an assumption statement is kind of like a little playful thing. Okay. So instead of being like, so what was the question? You said, what do you do with yourself? Yeah. An assumption statement would be just picking a random job yep. and then assuming that about him and saying that. So it's like, you might be an accountant mm -hmm. or you look like you're an accountant. Ah. And if you're right, yes. he will then be like, oh, how the f did she know that about me? You'll actually like, be like, oh, this is interesting. Mm. Should we Facebook stalk them beforehand? No, no, no. Oh, you can. <laughs> I don't recommend that. Okay. If you're wrong. Yeah. If you're, no, but the thing is, like, if you're wrong about the yeah. whole assumption statement thing. Then it'll be playful, right? Exactly. And oh, he's going to correct that you. That makes sense. Yeah. He might be like, do I look like an accountant? Holy shit. This girl's interesting. Or he might be like, oh, no, I'm actually like, what's another job? A lawyer. Oh, that's so boring. I wouldn't date any of those. Okay. What would you date? <laughs> I don't know. You've got to say this for everyone to see. <laughs> um, Cheryl likes to date. Interesting. interesting. So yeah. an artist. Yeah, an artist. An artist yeah. But yeah, but imagine if you said to a, a guy who was a, an artist and you called him an accountant. Mm, he like, would be so offended. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, yeah, he might be offended. <laughs> or he might be like, he'll, he'll correct you and that creates further conversation. Okay. So yep. assumption statement is a way of asking a question without actually asking the question. Okay. So you have your list of a million interrogation questions. And at the end of it, if you do all of these, he might actually feel like you've had a conversation mm. <laughs> rather than an interrogation. Right. Which can happen sometimes. Okay. 
That yeah. sounds really good. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go on a date in about three hours, so I'll let you know, know how we go. In three hours. In three hours. So we'll find out later. <laughs> What's another question you might want to ask this guy? Um, Have you Facebook stalked him? First of all. Uh, no, because... I Best found him. I found him on Happen. Okay. So Happen's a really good app that I've been trying out and testing the waters with. No, it's not. What? You should meet people in real life. Yeah, I do meet people in real life, <laughs> okay. but sometimes I don't have time to go out yeah. to the bars and stuff. So I'm trying out the apps. Okay. Okay. I think everyone is on the apps right now. I guess so. Bumble. Mm-hmm. I don't go on Tinder. It's You're just on going. more apps than I actually know exist, to be honest. Like uh, Bumble, I've never heard of until you mentioned Bumble it. Bumble is amazing. Maybe I'll Bumble my okay. way through it. Yeah. Anyway, so what's another question you might ask him? I um, might ask him, um, let's see, uh, I don't know, what's what what he likes doing? What's his, what are his hobbies? I don't know. No, what are your that's hobbies? just really. What are your aspirations? Like, yeah. do you want to have kids? Is that what you want? Or no, I don't know. Jesus. I'm just throwing Not for the first. Out. I just want to see what, what they, he does things? that's interesting, I guess. What he does that's interesting. What he... What, does, is that even English? What he... What? So another question you might want to ask him is something like, what do you do for fun? Yeah. But I don't want to ask that because that's another cliche question. Yeah, that's such a cliche question. I'm going to ask him because everyone on their profile always says, Loves hiking. Everybody seems to be loving hiking right okay, now. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to be <laughs> in a sarcastic way. So do you like hiking as well? No? Is that a bit negative? It's a bit negative. Okay. How could you turn that into an assumption statement? Um, you look like a guy that loves hiking. <laughs> you could say that, but I really like the whole thing about the, uh, the app, how okay. everyone loves hiking. Yep. So you could turn that into like... Um, so let me guess. Just because you're on Bumble, was a Bumble happen? Happen. It's so like you could say something like, "So I'm just going to assume because you're on Happen that you like hiking, because like oh, 90% yeah. of the guys on there like hiking." Yeah, it's and true. he'll be like, "Hell no, I like reading." Okay. And you're like, "Okay, then you learn more about him." Okay. That kind of stuff. Sounds good. And that's cool. Okay, cool. Well, if you if like you... this video, it's Cheryl. What are you going to say? Sorry, if you okay, like you me in more of his videos, let us know. Maybe I'll be one of your your special guests. I'm usually behind the camera, right? (laughs) She's always there, over there, normally. Okay. Or like making tea in the background. Um, Yeah, but if you did like this video, make sure... (laughs) That's horrible. (laughs) I make tea for myself, thank you very much. That was was the point. I wasn't saying making tea for me. (laughs) You make your own tea, bitch. Anyway, awesome. Well, if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. Um, and make sure to subscribe for more Harvey and maybe Cheryl um, in videos. Mm. All right, cool. All right. Mwah. Ciao. See you later. Well, that was a lot more hectic than it was meant to be. I gotta go now.